Hello my friends, today I want to try some new... Oh, oh. And yes, if you talk about new, I'm finally start and did for you, my lovely followers, uh, how to paint globe. It will be one hour long, but it's nothing difficult and all very, very... All very simple. And um, in this video, I want to share with you a little bit my private time when I have holidays, when I start to paint, how I do this, and maybe you want to know about me a little bit because we are now 10,000 followers. This is incredible. Thank you for everybody who follow my page. I was even done thinking it can be so fast to get these 10,000 people. I have only 30 video. This is will be 31. 31. It will be my age in end of the May. 31. <laughs> okay. Let's start. Like you see, it's wonderful view from very beautiful island in uh, Thailand. It's named Koh Samui. And uh, I find in this island simple globe, like usually. And in the same shop, I find a white balloon. But like you see, my globe already white, yes? And now it will start my crazy English. I will try to explain how I can. Uh, it have two kind globes. One kind globe can be with paper, you know, uh, it's by pieces put on globe and one like plastic, you know? My globe I buy with plastic. I prefer to take out because you can scratch easy and I take out and put map by marker but it was big mistake too because uh, it was uh, so difficult to put color abstract to hide this marker but i did this maybe five time maybe six i don't know how many times i was did this full day i was wait when it will be dry put color dry put color dry put color Yes, not so fun, but uh, it's not at home and it was so hard to find good balloon and uh, I find only one globe in this island. And of course, if you will do the same at home, you will find good balloon because in Thailand I find only one shop where I was so lucky to have last globe and have last this balloon. And now I will start to paint this map on globe. Now I'm just make some contour of continents and I put blue colors. My advice took one blue colors, don't make mix because you will need to put these blue colors maybe a few times because um, acrylic is a little bit uh, transparent, yes, not so covering. I did this maybe two times or three times too. And I want to show you some a little bit beautiful island. Maybe you've never been and maybe somebody been. And if you've been, I want to know your opinion. What do you think? Because I've been in some islands in uh, Thailand and it's very cool. Each island so different and have different spirit, you know, different mood in city. And you see, I wake map too at the same time. You can enjoy wonderful view and... Uh, try to make beautiful paintings I was changed sometimes on the Sun sometimes in shadow because under the Sun it was so hot very hot <laughs> and now let's prepare two colors for our paintings number one first what is you must have to do? It's every time you must to do this mix. It's number one. You never will have beautiful stroke, nice mix on your colors uh, if you will not do like a cream, you know, not be greedy on your time, do mix. And, and now I will show you how I paint on plastic with uh, acrylic colors with a lot waters, yes? because I put a lot of water on these colors. Look, I do mix soap together with water and I travel every time with this. If you will put in acrylic colors, just few drop uh, soap, just a little bit. You can paint with these acrylic colors 
on glasses, on hands, on body, everywhere where you want. And let's start to paint first leaves. We put first stroke and after we using most of dark color on our brush and you must took just a little bit dark colors on your tips. Tip. <laughs> Sorry, I told you my English, it's incredible. And now we will start to paint uh, one side of leaf. One by one, it must be even each stroke much to touch each other, yes, to be like neighbors. Now we took another colors, a little bit dark, and again we continued just another side. Maybe we will have some question which brush I'm using. It's Squirrel, size number three, and uh, it must be soft, you know. Uh, I like Squirrel. And try to find brush if you buy squirrel just must be more uh, slim tips tip because sometimes squirrel can be not good quality it can be soft but you must have more uh, slim tip yes we did one flower and now we continue to to color and do second leaves Hey, maybe you are first time in my channel welcome don't forget to subscribe yes right now do it this now because after you will forget for sure you did okay good and of course you can watch in my channel uh, before some video because this it's not so much for beginners you know I think if people try two three times do some flowers they can after try on globe but if you are just first time in my channel, first big kiss from me. <laughs> Thank you. I'm very happy to see you in my channel. And second, uh, try first on paper because globe it's quite difficult. It's plastic and uh, it's another form not easy for everybody. And I want to say you like Yes, I was start this globe in beautiful place. I was thinking and dream how to make beautiful video for you with wonderful view, with a beautiful world, peaceful, power of flowers. Yes, no direct, no politics, no religion, only beautiful view, only beautiful flowers and incredible colors. But I was lazy. Yes, I was lazy. And I don't shy about this because I was spent too much time in swimming pool, in sea, with uh, seafood. It was fun. I was enjoy like two weeks in this beautiful country and half time I spent in Koh Samui. And another part I spent in Bangkok. But about this later. Now we talk about colors. Like every time I say yes, we took first color, light full brush we took uh, light green and in this time I want to took three colors at the same time and just on the tip dark we took this brush you see three colors in the same time for leaves you can took colors three times dark color yes first time you took first stroke in center and after one side you took a little bit more dark colors when you finish this side you must took again a little bit dark color and continue to finish another side exactly like this like you see I'm using my colors uh, more dark with uh, my lovely handmade brush from cat and uh, don't worry about cat don't worry nothing happened and you do decoration inside each leaves it just if you want you can using another small brush like synthetic very slim brush and uh, small size everything for you just took time it's on video maybe like in 10 times more faster than in real life yes you can imagine it can be more longer and time for flowers we will paint hibiscus and uh, i was of course decide to paint this 
beautiful flower just because in this island so many beautiful hibiscus and two tutorials before I did very big tutorial with all explanation with all details how to paint this beautiful flower and like you see I am do uh, background for this flower more white yes you must do this I do this every time if you want to have bright color not so many acrylic colors can make so covering but if you will spend 10 minutes to make white background before you will start to paint you will have so colorful flowers and your favorite topic yes I know you're lazy you never do this yes or you do it who do it mix colors write me in comments because I think everybody thinking like oh my god this Anna it's so boring no you must do this every time we prepare colors for hibiscus and you see I am prepare these colors only after leaves because uh, acrylic colors dry very fast and my advice to do it this uh, on time you know you finish green good uh, start to make pink flowers and I put a lot of water do you see it can be like cream yes it must be good mix like a cream I took a little bit red because I want to do two different colors one pink flower and another red and again with water a little bit mix I don't put soap in this time you know why because I have background uh, acrylic and upstairs acrylic it can be uh, uh, very easy to put all strokes and I spend a little bit dark uh, colors all it's like red you know some more dark red some more looks like brown red yes and I'm very bad girl and clean in swimming pool <laughs> and you can see video about my colors in channel and don't forget to put like serious guys I need so much hmm? Hmm? okay and now I want to show you some funny moments like Oh, I am. I'm blonde and sometimes I can be very stupid. I was thinking like I will do a beautiful moment with my camera, how I'm walking in full and beautiful colors, pink, blonde, okay, it's all included. But now follow my camera. Yes, follow my camera because in a few seconds you will see <laughs> how I'm stupid blonde. you yes and uh, oops <laughs> you know I look this video in my heart again uh, cry anyway with camera I think it's okay but next time I was more careful and we continue to paint the hibiscus I have tutorial like I say before I have tutorial in my channel with a lot a lot details how to do this but you can see again uh, do you see I took pink color and just on the tip a little bit dark and for me sometimes it's enough three four five strokes I took brush big size number four it's again squirrel I'm using Russian brand it's name Rublev be honest I never find another brush I was traveling all the world but this is the best for me you're using two colors pink and dark I'm using sometimes somewhere very dark sometimes less dark do you see some um, petals it can be more dark some can be more light and I do different colors of this flower you see it's pink and red I was thinking like can be more fun but right now I want to remind you these rules do you remember what I say if you paint on light background like blue this or white you must took on your brush first light color and on the tip dark color like I do now and rules number two every time clean your brush this is very important and water change water often because 
I am sometimes can be for one day change each one uh, hour or half hours because for me it's so important to have um, bright colors, not dirty. And time for my favorite brush. It's from Cat. Yes, again, it's handmade. You can imagine it's a little bit took from this cat. Don't worry, nobody died. I think this cat lost at home 100 times more than people took from him just a little bit um, hairs to make this brush. Who have cat knows this exactly at home with him carpet. And we do slowly one by one a little bit like shadow small lines inside with more dark uh, colors. You can see right now you took a little bit more colors and continue to do these strokes and we finish pink and start to do this the same details with uh, red flower don't worry if you don't have this brush this brush it's only 10% of the successful uh, again my English lessons Ta -da! and um, you can using another brush or small brush small size like zero uh, from squirrel or you can using synthetic it's have some long synthetic I will show you later this brush and I like it, this brush so much all this brush can be make uh, the same effect like this brush from cat yes we continue to do this slowly not hurry for example you see here it's more slowly maybe it's real time yes I don't make more fast And if you're not so lazy, guys, can you write me your opinion about like this video? Which video you prefer more? Like, uh, I don't told boring, but let's say dry. Dry tutorials, like I did before. Or you like, for example, like this video too, with a little bit my heart, with a little bit my strange lips. What is it moving? Very strange. I don't know why they're moving like this. I never know before. When I'm paint, I'm moving clips like this. Crazy? Yes. <laughs> and um, interesting, only your opinion. Which video you prefer more? Or maybe it can be survive both. Yes, it can be some uh, more classic tutorials and something with like this incredible view. Do you like C? Do you like C? Hmm? I think uh, don't have any person who don't like it. Sea, sunset, beautiful tropical islands. Wow. I await your comments and like and repost in Facebook and repost in Pinterest. Share with everybody my video. Thank you, my friends. I need your help. Serious. Mm -hmm. You know, often people ask it me, what is it your inspiration? My inspiration is traveling. You know, I was traveling more than 60 countries. And uh, it's my second time in Thailand. But first time I was visit many islands, many places. This time it was more short. It's only two weeks in this um, paradise. Let's say it's paradise. It's heavy and I don't think it's some um, can be more close words than this it's exactly like this if you've never been in Thailand I think you must go and second reason but not less than first why I like Thailand it's just because of people they so positive I like because these people not so rich but they can enjoy and smile and uh, every time he wants to help you he uh, talk to you like your you friend of him this is what I like it in Mexico you know I really was um, surprised in Mexico when people talk to me like I'm very good friends of him but we meet on the first time in Thailand the same 
every time people try to help you explain and these people have more terribly accents than me really if you want to say to me about my terribly accent go to thailand after you will say to me like anna <laughs> your accent is wonderful and beautiful so beautiful and wild so beautiful and wild Kill me with your smile So beautiful and wild I think only one minus, but it's maybe because we don't live in this country because it sometimes can be very hot and any makeup you cannot do it on your face because it will be in five minutes um, your face totally sweat and you can be natural beauty <laughs> if you can call it this beauty, yes um, it's beauty but look look this wonderful sky it's beautiful see look this color it's amazing uh, not look at my face look see <laughs> i know i'm not the best and uh, a little bit about thai massage it's so cool look how positive this woman she's so cool and uh, you can do this massage every day, everywhere. I did this every day. It's so nice. And we did in different beaches. And uh, you know what is it cool? Because these women who did massage, every time is so smile and uh, very positive to you. I recommend everybody to go in this place. If you love to spend your time with sunset and glasses wine, it's place for you. But right now we go to Kiev and uh, my trip was finished, but Globus not. And it will be another part with more details how to paint this globe. I hope you have time because uh, now I will start to explain all details exactly about paintings, not about traveling. But I really recommend you, for example, I now start to paint palm leaves and how you see, I'm using two colors, light and dark, yes, light green and dark green. And each stroke, it's one leaves for palm. I hope I say correct. I don't know. Maybe I say some bullshit. I'm sure. But you can watch some another video. I have exactly tutorial how to paint palm leaves. It's the same uh, technique, but with more explanation. And uh, it's very simple. You see each stroke, it's like one part of leaves. And I took light green and dark green. Every time I took a little bit dark. Look, I finish one part and I took a little bit dark green and make a new stroke. Do you see? Light green, a little bit dark and we make one stroke again and again. And this I'm using brush number three, squirrel. Everything, uh, leaves, flowers, I paint with squirrel. And most of time it's size number three. Not so often I'm using four, four it's so big for me. If I'm hurry, yes, I can do this, but I like a lot of details. It's a little bit different kind of paintings, one stroke, because um, I think here you can make more details and it can be more professional looks uh, than another one strokes with flat brush. It was, it's nice too, but you cannot do with flat brush so small details my opinion i don't know and next leaves i do with uh, green and blue it's just your fantasy look now you can do any green leaves how you want and each stroke i put my brush in yellow color do you see yes i think you can see now we do some different tropical leaves and it's small decoration with the same brush uh from cat 
you to center all these leaves and start to paint these flowers I even don't know in English how it's uh, called it I don't know even in Russian these flowers do you know name of these flowers can you write me in comment because I really don't know how it's called these flowers it's so beautiful tropical things I see everywhere in Thailand you know first time I saw in Thailand this it's really amazing and so beautiful And um, after we took synthetic brush to make decoration, you can do the same with more dark uh, colors. And it's second flowers. I don't know name of these flowers too, really. Shame on me. But if you know name of these flowers, you can write me in comments because I'm really feel like uh, blonde, but not this same blonde. What is it? Throw fawn in Thailand. It's some another kind of blonde. <laughs> yes, and uh, the same technique. You see, I'm using two different colors: one yellow and another red. And right now, I want to your attention. You see, uh, I'm using these two colors, but I want more natural looks, and I put this paper to not uh, put colors after the sleeves and my favorite brush i do decoration with this brush with small slim strokes with dark red yes more careful one by one it can be looks beautiful all depends on from your hand how you are will be not so hurry and the same violet colors with green now i don't show with which colors i do mix because everybody have different palette and you can using what you want but for these flowers you see each stroke it's so simple red with yellow i'm using red first and on the tip yellow perfect and again decoration with more dark red i do everywhere the decoration you see in each leaves in each flowers i'm using this decoration it took a lot of time and we start to make australia <laughs> this is australia and i took more bigger brush size number four to make a uh, this stroke more beautiful yes you see red and uh, yellow red and yellow and i want to have your attention just a little bit do you see i do again white background for red colors if i not will do it this it will be a little bit dirty don't be lazy do it this I did maybe two times with white uh, acrylic colors after green leaves. It's why my globe looks every time very colorful all my paintings because I'm not lazy to do white background. Without white it can be really more dirty, more dark and um, will be not the same effect like with white background. And I'm using a little bit scotch maybe it's not correct but I do it this sometimes if I want to paint somewhere some details like you see now and I don't want to put uh, these strokes on another part of the, these flowers just a little bit don't don't put strong because it can took your color too look it's so cool because you can take on and it's everything will be more clean and you keep your time too because you don't spend uh, for some reparation or to put brush in right place it's took a lot of time yes oh you see we took and it looks so good 
with dark colors and you see I'm using this brush it's synthetic very small size it's like 0 0.10 I don't know how it's correct in English the most smallest brush I find this brush in manicure shop yes you can find a lot cool stuff in manicure shop never um, thinking about this try to go and you will find a lot of cool things like uh, small brushes um, different colors because you know people who make manicures they paint on nails too and it have sometimes not so bad colors and uh, right now we using yellow every time when i paint with yellow colors i put a little bit white in yellow because yellow coral coral color not so strong i am prefer to put just a little bit white and it will be more covering and we paint some details you can do this too maybe sometime in the same place make two times two levels layers 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 oh it's more correct layers <laughs> hibiscus do you know which this continent try to recognize which is continent I will not say to you maybe you can know and write me in comments do you see I do the same like I was in Thailand I using two colors at the same time pink and a little bit dark red it's not dark red it's maybe like brown yes more like red brown and here I'm using small brush I don't know why I don't took bigger size but uh, oh no I'm just right now change brush for more bigger size and you see it sometimes can be enough three stroke one two three and some details it's very easy to do with more bigger brush right now we are finished last petals and make decoration if you see I'm don't using a cat brush I'm using synthetic it's what I was mean before like it doesn't matter exactly about your brush we took yellow and just a little bit dark gr green yes yes and we will start to paint some leaves the same like was before we took a little bit dark and light and after one side you must to clean your brush took again yellow green and continue to paint second side each stroke near to each another stroke Thank you so much for guys who follow me from Instagram 
on Facebook and uh, maybe you not follow. I will be so happy to see you in my Instagram with the same name Annette Lovart and the same name in Facebook. In Facebook it's very cool because you can share with your friends. It's uh, nice because I do post for both page and you can keep on your page too. It's uh, not so bad. And now you can see how I'm doing with the same brush synthetic from manicure shop I do the small uh, lines you remember I was before using cat brush but now it's uh, synthetic I think this is sale even for paintings but the most small size you can find for manicure shops or in Aliexpress Right now I will not do more fast this video because sometimes people complain like hey how I you do this how you do this now you can see each stroke it took maybe some two seconds yes but don't be hurry better to make in right place I am paint usually very long time you know for one globe I need at least five days Of course, everything took time because uh, I'm crazy about have clean water. Next to me, it must be every time clean water because I like a very clean brush. Second, uh, every time I do mix these colors, acrylic colors very fast dry. And uh, you must every time put some water to make again and again and again this mix. But it's give it beautiful result. You can have after very nice gift, for example, for somebody, some of your friends, or I don't know, anybody. And we paint again uh, some details, decoration. Technique the same, just I'm using another kind of uh, green colors. Of course, this globe not for beginners. Yes, it's why I'm sometimes I paint a lot. Look, look how many globes I have. So, yes, uh, usually I'm paint globes, but because it's some stuff. Oh, one minute. Oh, not for beginners. Oh no, I like this better. Uh, it's not for beginners. They more. Uh, some another level. I don't know if it's interesting to you some see how to paint, how to prepare composition, some uh, way. Because to be honest, to be honest, for me it's always improvisation. I never do some uh, sketch before I just start to paint and I understand uh, how it will look after. I don't all totally like improvisation. Yes, of course I have in my brain some composition. Uh, and second, you know, I have some art education and it's when you study all your life like this. I'm study in art school after finish art college. After this, I go to National Academy of Ukraine with art. I mean, uh, people who have experience with art. Uh, but serious experience, not just, you know, you go to studio and you paint them a few, few months. No, no. I mean, when people who have some education about this, they uh, maybe can make improvisation easily. For me, more easy to do improvisation than to prepare composition before and after follow this uh, idea. I like uh, to create everything after. Of course, I thinking like, okay, it can be tropical flowers, and uh, just after understand which flowers, blah 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 blah. And next uh, week I will fly to. I will fly to Paris. Maybe I will paint something in Paris, and uh, now I want to do some decoration. 
and like every time I'm using my favorite brush it's some small liner it's synthetic you can see that it's very very slim yes not like me <laughs> and um, oh yes painful topic about slim not slim and uh, you can do decoration with this brush very nice you know i i have very big look what i want to do i have big flowers and i want to do some very small cute uh, details yes and i want to say to you like watch some few of my videos before to understand everything because for example how to paint uh, hibiscus i have even video how to paint hibiscus this i will show it and it's nothing difficult you can do the same if you of course will do some practice because don't think like if you paint uh, one times and uh, you're not get the same result what you I get or even you want to paint better you need to stop no you need to continue to do this few times more and of course every time your hand will start to work and feel how to master move and you can paint the same like me some details I like so much because it's very cute and uh, it's um, very beautiful these details now i can leave you you can just join beautiful music and uh, of course my paintings i hope you will have better than me serious i'm sure you can paint better than me And do you see, I make these small lines, but around these small lines, I do two points with brush. They give it more beautiful uh, looks, all this uh, decoration. Yes. Can you say it's nothing difficult, but use small brush and uh, my advice for you, for like this decoration, you must put more water in color than before. It must be like watercolors, you know, feel a lot, a lot of waters. And uh, you know, maybe I saw already in my Facebook or Instagram, because I'm sometimes posting this place much more video or photos, because it's more easy to do video for Instagram or Facebook than YouTube you know it's really very hard uh, and what I mean you can see all my works they have so many details I like to spend um, a lot of time with details really it's make me so relaxing you know maybe you like um, take ski I never take ski maybe somebody like to take bicycle and drive but I like to paint details and anyway I never drive bicycle you can imagine yes uh, I'm alive last person who cannot drive bicycle in the world it's me but uh, I like to do some details like this you can see how my brush follow and uh, I'm really enjoying this time it's like my meditation yes and do you know i can compare this globe with um, this island where i start to paint this globe because it's so relaxing um, you don't uh, nervous about nothing you just paint and in this island was the same you know everybody so cool so i don't talk slowly but um no no worry you know nobody worrying about nothing and uh, this globe too it's what i want to give you advice 
you can try to paint like this and if it's something will be not exactly like you want you need to just to have some practice don't think uh, i get this all results after first time no 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 i was paint and every time i'm paint too maybe something i don't post but uh, even in this globe, you know, if you will paint like me all this globe and will be not so lazy to make details for each flower, each uh, leaves, you will have very good lessons and next globe will be much more beautiful. Or you can paint with this flower on even jean jacket, on your skirt, uh, everywhere where you want. I take a little bit... Uh, again two colors yes and make some small details with small your brush again and again and again <laughs> just slowly one by one keep your time Now we will finish with all these details and slowly we will start to make some another part of this uh, paintings. I will use special uh, gold leaves and special glue because uh, we have some big part of ocean and it will look after very empty if you will not write something on this globe yes for this we will need only brush and some glue this is glue for uh, metal leaves i think you can find everywhere in any shop for decoration or everything or aliexpress you know i buy in aliexpress a lot of stuff maybe you will be interesting about my um, stuff what is it i buy in aliexpress i can make video about this i don't know maybe it can be kind of boring for you and uh, we can start to paint uh, some words you know i was thinking like stop to think start doing i was decide to write these words because it's about me stop to think start doing because i think a lot i think okay i can do video like this i can do video like this maybe i will do this but every time i'm just thinking and i'm don't do it maybe you know these feelings yes <laughs> and uh, i decide to doing right now a little bit about this glue uh, i put a little bit uh, soap in this glue too because uh, i paint upstairs of plastic and this glue with water can be um, not so good works if i not put a little bit uh, soap and we will need second it we will need uh, these leaves gold leaves I find different colors of these leaves, uh, it can be pink, green, yellow, even black I find like this, look, it's so cool. I take some few leaves and uh, I took scissors and will cut for some small pieces, because uh, with the small pieces more easy for me works. Uh, with gold leaves than uh, with big pieces. Maybe I'm greedy. <laughs> and uh, what we do? First we put glue, yes, and when this glue can be dry, like maybe after 15 minutes, uh, we can cut these uh, gold leaves 
for me it will be more comfortable to cut and we after put upstairs to each place where we put glue and if you have flat synthetic brush it can help you to make more um, to put these leaves in correct correct uh, place now you can see you see you put in these liters where is your right And my advice to put all and after only clean because if you start to clean uh, before it can be uh, looks very bad after we put everywhere all these gold leaves sometimes I help with my finger but better with brush slowly yes again everywhere we put the sleeves sometimes I do like this I think everybody have just uh, right uh, way have to do after when he trying this uh, put leaves this practic you know you will get your better way have to using these leaves I think again my English ta -da! <laughs> the best English of the world And of course it will took some time to do this one by one you see and with uh, your brush you can help you put more flat these colors oops color sleeves by these gold leaves words thinking I think it's big problem of a lot of people you know because a lot of people thinking a lot and all life afraid to do something and uh, maybe it will motivate you something to do because you know I'm for example with this YouTube channel feel very um, not so bad but I'm not sure it's so interesting for people or I start to thinking like maybe it's boring maybe I don't need to put my face maybe I need to put my face in this video maybe this traveling can be cool maybe not cool and uh, like I tell before I travel a lot and maybe sometimes you know it can be interesting moment uh, about my life because I for example don't watch TV at all I watch only YouTube and I like to follow uh, life of people when they go to traveling to see some nice place and next time when I'm traveling I decide to go this place you know sometimes it even happens like this but right now I want to show it uh, about stop to thinking you see I'm take out all leaves what is it I don't need because um, where is we put glue it took all these gold leaves but uh, where is do we don't put glue yes you can take out easily with your brush and in the end you will have like this beautiful right and we continue to another word start doing this it's like magic words yes start doing the same procedure we do the same we put again glue wait 15 minutes after we put gold leaves and after stick out again all what we don't need yeah everywhere slowly don't hurt all this gold because sometimes with brush you can push push very strong and all this gold starts to become very dirty 
be careful with it. to write the uh, stop to thinking start doing some details for these uh, letters for these words and now I am understand you know what I understand I was blown when I say we start to paint Australia because Australia looks uh, a little bit another <laughs> uh, I'm every time understand I'm blonde blonde girl yes I would think we paint Australia but now I understand I'm blonde. So sad life. So sad. How I can uh, confuse Australia with another continent. Bingo! We did this! Ta-da! I hope you like this globe. And uh, I don't know how you, but I like it because it's so positive. I think if you will have like this in your um, living room, anybody who come to your home can be smile and uh, when he touch your globe, this he can feel a little bit peaceful world. Yes, without any bad news. And it can motivate you to do something too. But about my another globe, what I want to say. Hmm? You remember I told about Bangkok, but later. I was been uh, in Bangkok too. And in this trip, I was so, so beautiful temples. Incredible, magnific, uh, wunderbach. I don't know, in each language. And I was come back to home, decide to paint this globe. Next time I will show you my globe from Bangkok with a lot of legends and you will know all details about this demon, about these uh, snacks and about all, all, all and how I doing this. Of course, if you're interested in my art, you must put like and wait next video. Now I want to know your opinion about this. Don't forget to write me because I'm very nervous. See you later next time. Big kiss.